we came back. Uh, or I guess we're back. Uh, we have Kyle Hendricks pitching for us today. We're in the City Connect jerseys. Pitcher throughout his career, ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. Right side. Fires to first on the run. One up, one down. Now it's Christian Yelich. Two for nine so far in the series. That's in there. Oh, and one. Singy, this guy's put together a pretty amazing career. Eighth round pick by the Rangers in 2011. Traded to the Cubs for Ryan Dempster a year later. I don't think they thought they were. Ah, now this ball splits the gap in right center. Around second now, going for three. He's in there. Are you kidding? Could have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now it's William Contreras. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, and I don't think when they traded for him that he would end up becoming starter with the most postseason starts in Cubs franchise history. So, you know, a guy that's very cerebral, understands what he's doing out there on the mound, and sometimes those guys can be tougher than the high velo guys. Yelich stands at third with one gone in the inning. Hit on the ground to the right side. Now two away as they get a run across. <sighs> Up the middle, into the outfield. What the fuck? Why is and my guy? the inning alive. Round second, digging for third. In there Jesus safely. Christ. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Timing on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Next offering is in for a strike. Rudder at third, two away. Tried to check his swing there. Oh, bull crap. Didn't go. Left-hand hitter waits. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here's a one-two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two outs with a runner at third. Ground ball up the middle. On to first. That ends the oh. inning. And they limit the damage. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Nico Horner. A wind in the pitch. On the ground, right side, Terrain. Slings the first, one up, one down. Dansby Swanson stands in. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Dansby Why are we swinging at first pitches like again? Short stops in baseball, Chris. And a lot of the help came from Ron Washington, but Dansby put in the work. Makes the grab two away down. Dansby Swanson, after all of that hard work defensively, won himself the gold glove in 2022. Popped up. Yikes! Why are we swinging? And makes the play, and that's out number three. New oh. inning getting started. Here's Jesse Winker. Here comes a pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Half going back. Back some more. Back some more. Can't what the hell? There. And now maybe extra bases. And that's a double. He was all over that one. First pitch of basketball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Here's Luis Arias. Next pitch downstairs. And it's one and oh. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at. And a 1 0 count. Just not able to square it up. A dive. Nice stop. And very nicely done for the out. <laughs> Tyrone Taylor digs in now. Three for eight in the series coming in. In there, and it's 0 and 1.
Right-hander kicks, deals. Got it. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And a ground ball to first. Hosmer oh. takes it to the okay, back, and the inning is over. Here at Wrigley Field, we head to the bottom of the second, and now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. And that one is lifted in the air. Guys, but it's off his glove. Base hit. <laughs> and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Two for eight in the series so far. And he swings and misses <laughs> at the initial offering. I was so late, it was like already past me. And that one wrapped foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The 0 2. Swings and misses, struck what? him out. Beat him inside on that last pitch, and when you look at paying too much attention to trying to get our guy moved a second. In, away, and then back in again. Really commanded both sides of the plate right there, and that makes it pretty tough to get comfortable in the box. And that gets down into the gap. Safely into second. He's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now a great opportunity to at least tie up this game with something like a sack fly or an error in the infield, but another hit to the outfield could absolutely end it. Next offering is downstairs. That one fouled off. <sighs> really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And a 1-2. High fly ball down the left field line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Out number two. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's Nick Madrigal. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And downstairs. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Swing and a ball popped up. Are you kidding me? The catch, inning over. <sighs> On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At the belt and fires. And it's even up. And it goes just foul. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Terrain gets his lead at first with nobody out. And he dodges that fastball. Chopped out in front of the plate. There's one. On the first double play. Hell yeah. And now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. Grounded out his first time. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Contreras in his second season, hitting third in the lineup, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And that's through there for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him <sighs> out. And That's where we were going to get scored again. As we go to the last of the third, now it's Jan Gomes. The wind of the pitch. 
Ball one low. Gomes, 35 years old, and he's a native of Brazil. Now a blooper back behind Shore. Makes the grab, one down. Boog, the first time we saw a native of Brazil play in the majors was in 2012. That list keeps growing, and I don't expect things to slow down either. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. The pitch. Foul ball. Porter, a guy who grew up in the Bay Area, was a huge fan of those late 80s, early 90s Oakland A's teams. <sighs> I get pulled what he doesn't do in real life. <laughs> there you go. Love getting a chance to not only go watch Oakland play, but also the San Francisco Giants. Swanson swings through that doing? one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Strike two. I didn't think that was going to hit there. Swings through that. Oh, are you kidding? Out. Three up, three down, inning over. Back here at the ballpark, out of the fourth. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. And that's in for a strike. Yeah, there's the strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the 0 2. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Yeah, the right hander deals. Just missed. It's <sighs> a good take. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. Yeah! Out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And now it's Rowdy Telez. First offering misses the mark. Well struck right field. It bangs off the wall. Oh shit, I could And he's got a double. Now it's the DH. Jesse Winker doubled his first time up. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Jesse Winker, a former first round pick, a guy who was drafted originally by the Reds. He was an all-star starter in 2021 in that National League outfield with Brian Reynolds and his then Reds teammate, Nick Castellanos. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. He was born in Buffalo, so that means he's part of Bill's Mafia. He's a big Buffalo Bills fan. <sighs> Telez over at second, one down. Yeah, this is going to be Swing his last. And a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Now, here is Luis Urias. Line, and that's a base hit. In comes the runner from third. It's two zip. Save. Oh, are you kidding? Damn. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Just a cook. He's gonna be, there's gonna be some movement in and here. Is Tyrone Club Tate. probably. Next offering is oh, down like. low. And that is ball. No, run. 
Hendricks is a nice pitcher. I, I just don't like his pitches. And he deals. In the air, right field. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now it's going to be Garrett Mitchell. Grounded out his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Runners on first and third, two away. Now this is in the air down the line. Hat moving under it. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Fought off foul. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That misses the zone, and the count is even, two and two. Corners are occupied with two down. Next pitch is Are you kidding me? And that's ball three. Fights it off, you'll see another. Foul, we'll see another payoff pitch. And it's ball four. He's Are you caught darn kidding? His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Terrain in the box now, takes strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. That's you it. You gotta be kidding me. Save. And they add to their lead as the run scores. Are you kidding me? Well, here we He's our pitcher ready. <laughs> time through the order, and this is where we see. Here comes the skip. Here comes the new arm for the Cubs, Hayden Wisniewski. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Mitchell over at second. Terang on at first with two down. Bounce to the right, Hosmer. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll That's do it. why. He'll be going back north, so starting with him. Back here at Wrigley Field, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Ian Happ. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Happ, a switch hitter. It can be challenging for guys at the big league level to maintain a good swing from both sides of the plate. Clearly, he's got more pop from the left side, but in 2022, the right side was respectable as well. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. One for one with a single so far. First offering, and it just misses. One and oh. Bounce to the left side. Urias to first in time. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Bellinger now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Nowadays with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? One, two. In an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Bounced up the middle. Adamas, the throw to first. And that is... Of course. Here at the 
friendly confines. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the catcher, William Contreras. And the first ball, pitch misses first. for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. The why to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Willie Adamas stands in. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. I am going to a Cubs versus Minnesota Twins game at Minnesota. Uh, Hit hard I'll be the there for short. Mother's Day. USA Sends Mother's Day. The first, May 14th. Both the teams are my mom's teams. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard, but that's why we're going. I suppose that the takers is the are going to take her last year, but... Then her cancer got so bad. That's hard hit on the line. And that should be extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Two hits for him in this one. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, All nice right. balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Here's the 0-2, and that one is inside, and that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And Except for that. Swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the we head to the bottom of the fifth. So up now for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. Peralta back to work. That misses the zone, 1-0. Wisdom, a former first-round pick of the Cardinals back in 2012 from St. Mary's College, same school that produced both Corbin Burns and Tony Gonsolin. Whips it across, nope. and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now it's Eric Hosmer. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up that to this point. Thing. And here it comes. Stays alive. Owen Chu now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's Take a that base hit. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And you can feel this crowd waking up a oh, bit here oh. as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat right here. He's been patient, and now he's in the driver's seat with a 2-0 count. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Line drive. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away couple of singles back to back showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line now this ball is down and could score a run nope i wasn't gonna try it because he's not that fast base is now loaded only one away back to the leadoff spot in the cubs lineup and next for the cubs nico horner and first offering is fouled off Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base on a line base hit. Runner at third puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. 
Bases loaded with one away. At the play, Dansby Swanson. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. The no way. In, no play. way. Are you thinking of me? The third baseman, Luis Urias. <sighs> Wisniewski back to work. Yeah. And the pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Urias, 25 years old, and he's a native of Mexico. Oh, man, that smoked him on the mound. Now one gone at the top of the sixth. Players from Mexico City to Baja California. Oh, great. That's great. Um, to the 30s. Mexico has been represented every decade for nearly 100 years now and has a strong history. Oh, of that's just freaking perfect for us. Michael Ruck. Uh, we're going to have to start warming up the pitcher then. Um, That sucks. Taylor stands in now and watches strike one. Towards first. And he takes it himself for the out. Digging in, Garrett Mitchell. He's 0 for 1. First pitch just misses. Mitchell goes 6 feet 3 inches. 215 pounds a former first round pick in 2020 and a 1-1 there's a strike a 1-2 count all he's seen is fastballs you've got to expect something off speed stay back the next offering misses two balls two strikes no because he's just not warmed up lifted in the air right field and in one hops the wall. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's there at third with a triple. Is there any way to speed, speed run? Right now with consecutive extra base hits. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that. Don't know why this is happening. Well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's That's nothing ball. wrong with the extra bases right there. One and one. Down and in, two moved one. his feet. Mitchell at third with two away. Still two and two after the foul ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's a one. Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So Here at Wrigley Field, bottom of the sixth inning. In half, up to hit. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Cubs made Ian Happ a first round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder. Played a little bit of outfield, but a guy in 2022. What a year, Chris. Both an all star and a gold glover. The 1 1. That's a laser base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Suzuki in the box again, takes a strike. One for two. This one in the air, right field. Diving, makes the grab. You love to see when a guy's hungry to make a play right there, an excellent diving catch. You could absolutely tell he was all in and tracking that ball down. Bellinger stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Are you kidding me? Makes the grab, and there's two down. Wisdom in the box now. No balls and a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. The 0-2. 
Swing and a miss. Oh, are you <laughs> Slider got him for a strike. We go to the uh, we'll, we'll give this guy a little bit longer. And a pitch. Yeah. That catches the corner. And he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings good. through it. And a pitch. Off the mark oh, there. And a count one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Here's a one-two. That one the other way. Base hit. Oh, what? What's going on? A board to start the inning. And that rolls into the corner. Throws to second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. Gotta love the resiliency shown in that bad bat. We're gonna bring him a warmed up pitcher. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Adbert Alzala. This is his first appearance of the season. And yeah, the batter now, William Contreras. Whips it to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Next for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. And first offering is fouled off. Yelich, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Kick Sandios. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And a foul ball. What? The 0-2. Got what? him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Rowdy Telez, the next to hit. Ripped, but it curls foul. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch has popped up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Milwaukee set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Hosmer. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Yelling. Why do they Spins never the just drop? Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Magical. Right. Batting with one down. Takes a strike. Activity in the bullpen. Matt Bush. Up and throwing. Milner, a left-hander. Also throwing. Next offering is fouled back. The 0-2. On the ground, and that should be extra bases. Come on, little trucker. He's in at second with a one out double. Yeah. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Throw over to Tellez. Don't even know why we saw that. I... Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. One for three. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Fuck. Mitchell makes the play. Really? And that will end the inning. Cubs leave one. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the Brewers DH. Jesse Winker. There's a strike. No ball. One strike. And that one no off ball. the outside edge. The one one. Ready. And a strike in there. Smash to the left side. Over to Hosmer. And Winker is set down. Now the third baseman, Luis Urias. And a foul ball left side. The 
0 1. Urias started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. And a pitch. Hot shot to third. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. Tyrone Taylor now at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Bounce to third. Wisdom on the first. And that is that. Okay, well, that's good. Bush gets the ball now. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Swanson. Why are we even swimming? As he swings through strike one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And a foul ball. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Swings and misses. Some high cheese for strike three. Here's the left fielder, Ian Happ. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Swings through that one. Oh, I don't even know what. What have I been telling myself this whole other game? Don't swing at the first pitch. Ball one there. Rip to short. Adamas, the throw to first. Yeah, he can pick it up, but I can't pick up the same. So here's the cleanup hitter, Seiya Suzuki. Slice down the right side. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. And foul Late, off. very late. Cutter running fastball. Here's the 0-2. That one just misses. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. On the ground at first, and that's just foul. The pitch. That one out to right. Damn it. Taylor brings it in, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Garrett Mitchell. And first offering is fouled off. Al Zalai, 28 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. This is Bryce Terang. And first offering is fouled off. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game were born in Venezuela, including one that finished with 500-plus home runs, 3,000-plus hits, and a triple crown. Only two now. And a base what hit in the right in center the field. world was that? Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Boog, and you can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. Next pitch has popped up. Hosmer pulls that one down, and there are two down. Well, oh, that's a frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Swanson fires over to first. All right. <laughs> so the Brewers bring on a new pitcher from the pen, Devin Williams. A chance at his first save of the year. The pitch. Bellinger, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. A screwball. Screwball. 
Yeah, all they're gonna do is gonna throw us nothing but screwballs. <laughs> yeah, I'm not caught. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And a foul ball, third base side. Williams, a 6 2 righty. I just hate playing the Brewers. I just don't and know. And he's a former is. rookie of the year. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 2 now. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Here comes a pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. Here at the bottom of the ninth, one out. And now it's Eric Hosmer. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Pitch misses there. One and one. Hang one of those right over the center. There's a strike. Wisdom over at first with one away. Misses. Two balls, two strikes. The fastball mid. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball God could be dang. over to Terang. One. The double play ends it right here. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching. Until the next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll try for a win at some point. Until next time, bye.